A few days ago, I was searching on the internet for some cheap golf balls that could still perform to the level of some of the expensive ones, and I found these. I got these three-piece golf balls from Timu. Could these be the end of expensive golf balls as we know it, such as the Titleist Pro V1? Now, whenever we test golf balls, often we think about how many pieces it has, what's the cover made out of, what's the inner layer made out of, and the big thing is, how does it perform? Today, we're gonna to test these out on the golf course. We're also gonna test them for numbers and see just how potentially they might stack up against a more expensive golf ball. And one of the big reasons why I really wanted to test these golf balls is because they are littered with five-star reviews on the Timu website. Either these are fake reviews or these balls are genuinely very good. And I'm not alone because this is the return of Talking Balls. Chris, how are you? Get in. I'm fantastic. I'm cold, but I'm fantastic. Now, we've spent a long time searching for a golf ball that potentially could replace something like a Pro V1 or a TP5 or something like that. Yeah. We've now found these. Could well be with a gimbal. <laughs> we have got a gimbal. Guys, comment below. If you feel like this is smoother, then let us know in the comments below. Um, but yeah, they're not wasting money on packaging either. No, they feel a little bit hard. Mm. Right. So these are £9.40 for five. Pro V ones would be around twelve pound for three now. It's a random number. That's how much they cost, mate. I can't. can't no, I mean make five, it up. five balls. Yeah, in the bag. Bag of five. Who's bought a bag of ba a bag of five? So shall we have a little match with these, and then we'll talk numbers. We've actually already been in the studio with these to test them for numbers, and you're definitely going to want to hear how far these go. So stay tuned. You notice how some of them are different as well. Oh, I haven't. Mine says three-piece GB on the side. Yeah, but it depends what you get. So if you look on screen now, you'll see that potentially you can get different stampings on these. Ooh. I'm not sure that's a good thing. No. No. Consistency is not there already. Also, guys, we are going to cut these open with the old, whatever that's called, pipe cutter, and we'll see how consistent the centres are as well, because I think potentially consistency might be a problem with these more budget golf balls. Chris, lead us away, my friend. I mean, the good thing is the cheap. I'll give you a breakfast ball, how's that? Didn't get the flight on that one. <laughs> it's another one we're gonna cut open. We might find that actually, but we will. Nice. Well, that's the one I wanted. Great ball flight. Felt a bit firm. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it sounded god awful. It did, yeah. So if you just that. touch it, it, uh, it does make a large noise. <laughs> That's come out like an absolute bullet, but it did feel incredibly firm. Look how far that's gone. It's gone a long way. That's gone miles. Mm. And this is an interesting thing with these golf balls. To say that these are so cheap, how do they have to perform for you? Do you need a certain ball speed? Do you need a certain spin rate? That was certainly a low spin because it was so penetrating. Mine was low spin. Yours was very low spin, mate. <laughs> So guys, do me a huge favour and get in the comments below and let me know where do you buy your golf balls from. I've done quite a bit of shopping on Timu recently. We've got the driver in the bag as well, which we're not going to use today because that is god awful. And he has found that ball as well, so that's fantastic news. But also, I'm really interested to know if you were to buy golf balls off the internet, where would you go? What would you want to spend? And how good would you anticipate them to be? If you like Chris and you lose the occasional ball, budget could be more important than the proper player like Gary Martin, for example. I can't, I can't even say that with a straight face. Man, a good player. Again. <laughs> the same ducks, Rob. You know that pond there's ducks. You have to say it every time we go, ducks! Okay, I just get off Mallard. Of right, I think we've skirted through that bunker with it being a little bit washed out. I think we should mention Gary Martin twice in one hole, isn't it? Washed out. Oh, I'm joking, Gary. Right, 130 downhill. This is where you, you kind of want to know what the ball's made out of. And if I have found that online, I'll put it on now because I'm not too sure if it's, Euro I don't think it's gonna be urethane for the price it is. It might be Ionima. Ionima should launch higher with low spin. So you get potentially the landing angle, but you don't get the spin rate for the control. So quite important thing to understand really. I can't remember how loud I just said quite important. Sorry for everyone's ears. We're gonna go middle of the green. We're not gonna go for that. Or we're gonna go straight at the flag and just stick yeah. it to about 10 feet. I did pull that, but the ball actually felt okay there with the wedge. It's come really, really high actually. And you can see we've got a nice potential for birdie opportunity on the first. 
So good shot there from James. Be interesting to see if you can fly this. It certainly sounds very clicky. Ooh, clicky even. Does the ball? Not like a Pro V1. More like a Pinnacle Gold. No, it's nice. That is all over it. Two good shots, but certainly launch high. It doesn't feel like a Euro. No, I don't think piece. it's a premium cover and. Would you concur with me, Chris, that it felt a lot better with a lofted club than a non-lofted club? Yeah. Yeah. I would say so. Yeah, just to, like you say, you don't know what uh, cover you're getting, do we? Yeah, and I mean, I've probably gone quite heavy with the title of this video as well, citing the Pro V1 and maybe a TP5 being really expensive. And I'm all for brands that are going to start make golf a little bit more affordable, can get golf ball to the masses. And if you can buy golf balls that you enjoy, you could buy a load of these, use them for the season. As long as they perform consistently, they don't scuff up too much and you generally get good performance out of them, or not even good performance, but consistent performance and save yourself a load of money and actually play more golf and use that money for green fees, who's the real winner there? Would you rather play, so say there's 52 weeks in a year, would you rather play 30 times a year and use Pro V1s or 40 times a year and use these? There's the question that I always think, hmm, probably gonna enjoy it more if I play more. Two good shots. Good argument that, isn't it? Yeah, in for me, Bobby. It can't lean a bit. Not bad stoppage there, so they both landed on down slopes. Yeah, they've done a job. Doesn't feel bad off the putter, actually. For some unknown reason over, I was thinking it was going to be terrible. I'll give you that. Oh, thank you very much. The alignment is not bad, Chris, is it? No, pretty good on there. I'll show it on uh, with old gimbal Rob. I wouldn't say it's, uh, I mean, it's clear enough, I wouldn't say it's an obvious line. No, but it's probably similar. ones aren't, either you pay more for that. Yeah, it's similar to what you get from a premium brand. Oh, flag in. If you can make a birdie with a golf ball, what more do you need to know? One up. Oh dear. Do we now use the Timu driver, which was 30 pounds? No, Rob's shaking his head. Uh, we'll go with the normal driver. This is what you want to all see as well. You want to see how far this bad boy goes, don't you? Um, we are going to talk numbers as well. I've been in the studio with them already and tested them. Chris wasn't present for that. No. How would you think these perform, having played a hole with them? Well, I don't know. That first ball that you hit did come off pretty fast, so I think, that, I think the spin will be low. Yeah, the thing for me was the inconsistencies. Yeah. So often you might think, oh, well, I want a high ball speed. And I found that at times, um, I will cut to the numbers a little bit later on in the video, but... It's the consistency that you want, isn't it? So, Which is key. Key. Consistency is key to better golf. Golf. Consistency in life, to be honest. Correct. Again, it's a penetrating ball flight. It's such a shame that that hit that tree because that was going to be a really, really good ball flight, wasn't it? It, as well? it attacked that tree well at pace. Do you want a breakfast ball? No, I'm all right. No, I don't need a breakfast ball. Not, not being one up. All right, fair enough. Looks a bit of a weak ball flight for the shot you've hit there. Ooh. Can I have a go with that drive? So and, and one of these I balls. I out of the middle. It just sounded uh, a bit tinny. Debatable. I'm just getting this bag. Need you've, got two, you've got one in your pocket as well now. No. You picked one up, didn't you? Yeah, it's in my bag. Pocketed it. This isn't my one for the round, it's just for the test. Oh, this is true testing right here, fans, sports fans. But I, oft I often think this is how you should be testing golf balls, you know, just having a couple of goes. Yeah, the numbers are important, but the ball flight's more important. That's an identical flight to mine, pretty much. And that felt like a really strong flight. Mm. Not Distance. sure it's gone that far, though. Distance is debatable. Distance is debatable. There you go, mate. Thank you very Talking much. Balls was one of our best series, actually, it is. through 2022 and 23. So we're pleased to bring it back to you. If there's any golf balls you want us to test, we've got some, actually, that are really, really, really expensive. So these are really cheap. We've oh, got yeah. some that are £200 a dozen yep, to that's test. So they're... £15 a ball. Be interested to test them against these mega budget ones and see what the big difference is. Yep. One that's of the big things one. that I always find in Talking Balls is how good do you have to be, how good do we have to be to see such a huge difference in the golf ball that you're using? Because the big brands always say, use the best ball you can. Yeah. They're gonna say that because it's trying to sell it you. I've got a new favorite golf ball as well. Have you? Yeah. 
Are we going to discuss what that is or are we going to leave it? We're going to leave the suspense. Oh, right. We've found a Bridgestone, we've found a Callaway, we've found a Titleist, we've not found the Timu ball. And oh, there's one there. Is that one? I'm disappointed that we're losing the whatever it is ball. I think it's a number two, Rob. Oh, buzzing. Found it. We'll leave them there for now. How's it lying, more to the point? We've got a long way in. We only have this long in. Chris is down in the fairway. It's not lying bad, that, is it? Yeah. All right. Can we get over these bushes? Is it? There's no, is there standing water there? There's not, is there? Yeah. I think that might have been plugged. <laughs> oh dear. We'll go with it though. That must have been. We're still only here for two. We're progressing up because this is, yeah, this is eight iron, so it's just there, isn't it? Left, I think it might oh, be all right. Down the slope, it's mud ball. Trying mud ball. all the right. Here we have James's second drive, his breakfast ball, as it would have been. Again, distance wise, there probably from a premium ball, you're looking at nearly being in the tree. So, I don't know the numbers with these golf balls, but I certainly think you're maybe not getting the distance you would hope for. I've got a similar shot that I did into the first. I'm going to try again to get it to launch low. Got it to launch low, so that was a oh, terrible what a shot. Go on. Oh, great shot. But we'll take it. Again, I seem like I'm complaining here, but again, just felt very firm there off a wedge. So it's just trying to manipulate this golf ball, but at the price point, it's the perfect price point. If you're getting into golf, if you just want a golf ball that yeah, if you're gonna lose a few, this price point gets more people into golf. That's all we're really bothered about. Any spin there, James? No, it actually released up the bank. Oh. I've never seen a ball do that. It landed where, where Bobby is. I mean, I did thin it a bit. All right, this is for par for me. It's actually done well, that ball, hasn't it? To say where we were, it's obviously pitched here and funneled down. It did use the bank. Surprise, it stopped. Positive. I would have anticipated that grab more, but you know what, really? It's a five, isn't it? From a very, very bad tee shot and potentially a plug lie, which we weren't sure about on the bottom. Chris, you've got two for it, but let's see if we can keep the birdie run going. And I think the fact that we are making birdies here does kind of speak volumes, doesn't it? As to, yeah, they're a cheap golf ball. Are they a bit of an imitation being a three piece? I don't really know. At least, at least they're not claiming to be something they're not. They're just saying, look, cheap golf balls make birdies. Oh. They're not claiming to be a tour ball, are they? No, they're not. And I think that's at least something to do. We just say pro golf master. I take it all back. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Gary Martin in a golf ball right there. Pakistan golf master. <laughs> so five for me there, four for Chris. Quite pleased with the five there. And I can't blame the golf ball at all. Any ball I would have hit would have hit those trees on the drive yep. and finished there. And realistically, when it comes to that, there was every chance I was going to lose that golf, but we were lucky to find it. I actually found like three others. I found oh. a Bridgestone, a Titleist, and a Callaway. Oh. But no pro golf masters. No, we got it. I know, but you didn't find any more I didn't, of those. And I've never seen them before either. But if you were to okay. lose them on the course, would you, would it make you think about, so the fourth hole, here's a drivable par four. Would you go for it more because it's a cheaper ball? Yeah, true. Because you're carrying out of bounds and you don't want to lose them. Do you know where you would find some? Where? Bixby. You would. You would. 126 oh, playing God. 128. Oh, no. oh, God. If you're wondering why you'd find a lot of uh, these golf balls at fixed bit, it is because of Gary Martin on screen now. 126. I bet Pakistan's littered with them. <laughs> Probably. Islamabad. Great shot. Would you be embarrassed with a hole in one with one, though? Ooh. That has to be close. You'd like to think so, but you just don't know how far they're going, do you? But which like, is consistency, I guess. Yeah, because so I hit pitching wedge in here the other day to a similar flag, but I've gone 
one more today because I'm thinking, well, it's into the wind and how good is this ball into the wind? Can you trust it into the wind? Trust is a huge element when it comes to golf balls. The old marketing trust your tight list was a huge factor, wasn't it? It was. Can I get inside that? See, that feels like something. it's gone straight up. Yeah. It's took it well. Distance looks good. Yeah, see where they finished. We're rolling, Bobby. Well, I must say, I, I was I, anticipating the worst there, thinking they might have either come up short or I don't it's know, but... A, it's a funny ooh. front pin that Robinson told me it's on the tee. It's not a front pin. I apologise, it's not a front pin. It's, it's never been a front it's pin. It's lucky you got the number. It looked like a front pin from back there, but I did give you an exact yardage to the yard. Yeah, and it stopped exactly where it, it's landed again. So, but again, is that the landing angle? It does balloon up, it seems. I don't think it's spin rate. No. So far, 100% putting making with this ball oh. for me not for you not for me now correct the pro golf master for the two for victory or potential victory it's got a big chance oh referee it was turning that as well it was sad to see that guys let's jump in the studio let's see just how these balls do perform for numbers because I've already tested them then let's get back out here and see if Chris can snatch it and we'll cut these balls in half and see what they're really made of and we'll see what this man's really made of. And you see really interestingly when testing these golf balls on the Golf Sun Simulator ball speed the Timu golf ball could not match the Titleist Pro V1 spin rate it was quite a lot higher as well and visibly you could actually see that the ball flights just weren't as powerful with driver so we've got a six yard difference in carry we've got an eight yard difference in total distance and I think realistically, are you going to see that out on the golf course? Potentially not, depending how consistently you strike these balls. But certainly, I don't think they're going to be contending for the best golf ball of 2024. Oh, oh I feel for you. I'm even going to give you them, Chris. Two pars. Guys, we're going to finish this match on the drive ball par four that we did mention. But first of all, we have got more of these, don't worry. But I promised you we'd have a look what's inside these. So... Three piece ball, what colour are we saying in the middle? Blue. Did you know that the colour in the middle isn't actually the material it is, it's just what dye they put in so they can test different cores and then they can put them to one side. There we we learned that, didn't we? We did. Tailor made. Oh. Pink. Does it look all right, that? Dubious or? I think it looks all right. I think it looks okay, that actually. It's not cut very well, but Chris passes yours. Yeah, I think that is pretty even. I want to see just how consistent they oh, are. Actually, I think it's a little bit thicker there and a little bit thinner there, so maybe it's not perfect. This is nowhere near the middle, by the way. Look at that. carrots. What colour is this one? Is it going to be pink as well? Yeah, same. Oh. Same. And if we look at that one... Uh, I think you're right with this one. That's a lot thinner on that side than it is on that side, isn't it? That's very thin there. There. And this is where you look at the expensive balls such as Callaway. Callaway have invested a billion, is it a billion? I think it's a billion, isn't it? Well, Into know. the chickpea plant where they do make the balls and make sure they're all centred and everything else. Well, we made a couple of birdies with them, haven't we? Nearest the pin to win. Right. Uh, can I use that full length? I've only got the mini driver in the bag, so. We'll go with that, I think. Let me find the ball. Into the wind. Yes, Probably only is. playing about 260, 270 this, Chris, is it from here? Yep. I think so. I'll need all of it. It's into the breeze. That is all over it. It's a good line. Is it the length? I can see the flag through the trees and it's the perfect line. No. Bobby. But what through the trees? Old eagle's eye Bobby thinks he's seen it. He's got a gimbal and look at him now. Gimbal thinks he can see through trees. Kryptonite. God, Bobby. Oh, Bobby Gimbal. Bobby's lying to us, he's lying to himself. Don't like being called a liar. Oh, what he's it. saying, Chris, is the pressure's on because we're playing for a pint here. It's I can't believe you're pretending to see it. He's trying to get in your good books, pretending he's seen it. Tell you what, that's perfect as well. We've seen that one down, Bobby. The worrying thing oh, is, I think, I didn't think you would. are you a number two? Because I'm a number two. Uh, that's one thing I'll say. They've sent us five balls. I think they're all number twos. Controversial. Uh, two. 
two, oh, two, all twos. So why send five balls at all the same number? That makes no sense to me at all. It does, because when people like Bobby can see through trees, it doesn't matter, does it, Pants? Mine's bang next to the flag, can we just say? That's mine. That's definitely mine. It's definitely mine. Bob, Bobby saw mine. He said he saw yours down in the trees. He saw, Bobby, did you see mine? I saw yours. Next, to the, next to the flag? I saw yours coming down, yeah. Either way, though. Yeah, Why, did you zoom? Oh. Ah. Well, what good is that, Bobby? But he, he, so I mean, there's two on the green here. Or is the one? Is it? Yeah, it was. So realistically, is there another one? Just it's two on the green. Yeah. I thought we had bad eyes. Bobby said he could see them from the tee, but he can't but see that, two on the green. That with this golf ball is ridiculous, isn't it? I could stand there with a Pro V1 and never hit that. I think so it just at, goes to show it's. I think we're identical distance from. Oh, we're just having a put off. We'll have a put off. They're two fantastic drives, though. Can anyone make a Steven? On screen now. I showed that Laura, she's like, who's Steven? I said, Steven Seagal, Eagle. She just laughed. Uh, it's definitely me closer, by the way. It's not sure which one's which. Well, we do, that's me. Chris has pitched there. Oh, mine's pitched and stopped, look. That's how good, good a strike mine was. A backspin from the driver. Go on. Oh, I just never had the legs. Never up, never in. Let us know what you think to these Timu golf balls. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you all at the same time tomorrow. That's not how I saw that going down in my head. <laughs>